Hey, Brad, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys, I'm setting on the table a really awesome casserole, and it is going to light your taste buds up. It's got some eggs, it's got some cheese, sausage, ham, we got some veggies in there, and you're going to get it all this morning in my uh, little casserole I brought. So first of all, I'll start off with the definition, uh, the, the, the uh, dictionary definition that was asked for, accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Okay, so here's what I find is that a lot of times our vision is just not clear. What Our vision of what this success thing is, whatever we're working on or where we're headed, is not clear. And I know Rick, our friend Rick Torson talks, he actually has a course on blank sheet of paper. Michael Gerber has had a dreaming room for years where you will go and you will start with this big, massive art spiral blank notebook. And when you go to his dreaming room, you're like, so what do I need to prepare for? There is no preparation. You're just going to unlock the dream. So that's my first thing is choose. If we're making a choice for success, you're going to have to choose to dream big. And then you need to just take that blank sheet of paper, close your eyes, visualize it and write it in detail. So Michelle, you were just talking about, so that was the cheese. Here comes some ham uh, talking about doubt. And one of the things I share often is our confidence level. Think about something you were really great at, <clears throat> whether it was in high school, if it was in sports or, you know, choir or, you know, music or whatever it was that you were awesome at or a job that you had along your life <clears throat> where you were, you just were awesome at it. It was fun. Um, you were the go-to person. Everybody came to you and that's, we built up our confidence as we got there. I mean, go back to the first day you walked onto a football team or a baseball team, or you walked into freaking choir and you're about ready to bust your voice out with all these other people not knowing how good they are. We, we didn't know anything then. <clears throat> and as we went through and we just went through the process, we got better at it. So just remember what that was like when you first started something that you were really, really good at. Well, if you're dreaming big and it hasn't been created before, you're in somewhere where you haven't been before. So that's going to show back up. So if you're working on something new, just build your confidence up. And I know Maxwell, a couple of things that hit me is one, make a commitment to grow every day. And then two, he talks about valuing the process, not the event. So it's not the events that happen along the way. It's more about the process, which leads me right to Mr. Gerber again. Documenting and systematizing those processes, automating as much as you can. And again, just to kind of wrap this up, when you say success is a choice, for me, I make the choice every day to let my systems be my boss. You know, I'm I'm a self-employed entrepreneur. I'm smart, right? No, I have a boss every day and I have to do what that system cell tells me to do every single day because that core systematized automated stuff is what makes the success really just continue, happen, grow. And that allows me to then be free, you know, I do the systems in the morning. Right now, it's like we do this. I go through my systems. I pull out my calls. I, I print off my to-dos. And by the time the sun's coming up, I get to just go ride the day and be crazy, crazy Brad going out on planet, planet corn and planet Brad. And just I call myself creating chaos, right? I go out and create chaos and somebody else comes behind me and cleans it up and organizes it. So just trusting that system and making a choice. So hope you like that casserole there. Ooh, that was a casserole that was really rich. And uh, I put in the chat, uh, the system is boss. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, that's so important. And you know what, guys, there are some books that are mentioned here over and over and over again by the mods and by speakers who come up on stage. And I'm going to try and post anything that you guys share. So, you know, like John Maxwell, I mean, he's written so many books. He's prolific at this point. And, you know, so it's like if people want me to post a book, also you can write that in the chat. 